We're going to vote graduation. So I know y'all like, why the truth her? Because I know y'all like, then we already see your graduation video. That was when I completed my 1500 hours. So when you complete your 1500 hours, the whole school celebrate the fact that you have completed school. But today, it's everybody that has already completed their 1500 hours. We're just coming together and having a actual graduation ceremony. That's why I got on this ivory. Um, It was no dress code or anything. I just wanted to keep it classy because at the end of the day, it's a graduation. I don't want to be like a whole fashion. So go on to the when from the start now I'm like I wanted it to be you know so I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get there because I don't want to run on my battery and I don't want this to be super super long y'all know I hate long videos so peace all right we're here we waiting up on Popo to get her little mask y'all because she they're gonna my beautiful son I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get in here but it's all it's all about three stack it and stretch when it rained it's gonna cold so I put up some extra I made it out the mud on my own out of jets. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. That was so much better than y'all did in school in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your graduation. This is a very, very special group of students who have gone through COVID and distance learning and and uncertainty and all it's kinds great. of things. And they are finally here at you know, their their graduation ceremony. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> so we have a very, very, very special keynote speaker for you today. Dean Banowitz, he is the Hollywood hair guy, hairdresser to the stars, Lionel Richie, Oprah, Simon Cowell, he does the hair for uh, all the TV shows that have to do with dance and Shark Tank and um, American Idol. And he is the person that some of you want to be in his shoes in, in a very short time. So we are so honored and blessed to have him here with us tonight for you to share his wisdom. And um, please, please, please give a big round of applause for Dean Barrowitz. Thank you, everybody, and uh, congratulations, too, on everything you've accomplished. It's been a crazy year. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you a little background. Um, I work as a celebrity hairdresser in Los Angeles, and when I moved to L.A., one of the first things people would always say to me is, you're different, you're not really from here, are you? And at first it started to really kind of affect me, like it was gonna, it, it was gonna hinder a job or anything of that nature. And I just wanna tell you a quick little story. There was a television show that was coming out and I was requested to come do an audition and an interview for this particular show. But they wanted me to be on camera. And so I go into this room, and just to give you a little brief history on an audition, you have a casting director who's in the room, and it's just you and that casting director. And the first thing she said to me, you know, she has a camera set up, and she's gonna film the whole process and all the questioning. And usually in the next room are the producers watching that footage of your interview. And the very first thing she said to me was, what makes you think you are so special, you deserve this job? And at first, I, and thank goodness I'm a quick thinker, because you know, here I am, born and raised on a farm in Iowa. I'm the 13th of 15 children, very Catholic. And you know, I'm, I'm a decorated veteran of US Army, and I'm thinking this is all my past, and I'm like, I could be one of those very egomaniac hair people and just say, this is why I'm special. But you know, I, we have some of those, and they don't really represent our industry the way they should. So I started to think, and I was like, all right. Hi, my name is Dean Banowitz. I'm a decorated veteran, U.S. Army, soldier of the year 1987. I've been doing hair for almost 30 years. Plus, I was born and raised on a farm. So that means I can do your hair, kick your ass, and milk your cow. That makes me special. <laughs> so that's why I deserve this job. And this, this woman who was doing the interview was dead dead silent, and she was like, uh, I don't really think I have any other questions for you. And a producer comes in that back door and he goes, I'm not sure where we're gonna use you, but we're gonna use you. 
on this show. And they hired me immediately to be one of the guest judges on Sheer Genius that was on Bravo. But the reason why I tell this story too is because don't ever let anybody tell you your past is not worthy. We are all worthy. We all have a story. And each one of our stories is incredibly special to us if we take ownership in it. Every single one of us is special in our own entire way. And all I really want for everybody, graduates and friends, family, is to always remember your past because it is making us who we are today. And that's really, really important. <laughs> We learn lessons, and if we don't learn those lessons, we're gonna, we're gonna keep receiving those lessons until we learn them and we take ownership and pride in who we are. So don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do anything, and if they do, do what I do and prove them wrong. It's the best advice anybody has ever given me because my past is making me who I am today and my future looks a lot brighter because I accept who I am and what I'm all about and the past and the colorful things that have happened to me. And I just want you to know, the cosmetology industry is by far one of my favorite things. Your opportunities are literally endless. You can own a salon, you can be a celebrity stylist, you can work for a distributor, you can work for a school, you literally can be a consultant, you can do so many things. Very proud of all of you because school is a beast. It's tough to get through, but you've done it. And um, I'm very excited to continue on and watch everybody get their diplomas. <laughs> so thank you very much again, congratulations. And remember, love and own your past and your future is gonna be incredibly bright. Thanks you guys. Hello dolls. Hi, hi. Hi. hi family, how y'all doing? <laughs> so I'm Bobby, I am our future professional advisor and co-educational leader here at the school and it is a pleasure of mine to not only welcome all of our family and support, but to send a huge congratulations to our graduates. And um, we love watching your journey and watch where you're headed towards the future. So you guys ready to get the show on the road with yeah. me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna call you guys up one by one. Y'all are more than welcome to come grab your diploma and we'll take photos, okay? So our first graduate that we have is Jake Elmore. Is Jake Elmore in the building? And then graduate is Chalmer. Okay, D. Bano. Yeah, that's what I wanted to tag him too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to help you there? Right there, camera. Your hair's 
Congratulations. She gave us my first one, but she won. I'm over it like because I know y'all want to try to skip. <laughs> if you can give us a point, five, 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 I got it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm struggling to do both, y'all. So give this video a thumbs up. Congratulations, boom. Comment down below how many times I said congratulations, boom, so far. All right, guys, back in the hands of these side. Here, Come on, Lane. Lane. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all want some more photos? No. Look, they they say they take long, but you know they take pictures all day. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, Y'all can't record? You don't, you don't get to go. Wow. Take yes, I do. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not friends. <laughs> yeah, I'll be friends. <laughs> All these laws that people have made. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I agree to say don't do this. My father said don't show it to me in the book. It ain't in the Bible. I don't want to hear it. But you know, a lot of people don't, they don't have their own personal relationship with God. And so it's like, I think what we got to get out of the most is listening to what people have to say rather than doing research. Oh, because the Bible. Eat. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, the Bible say, study to show God something. Eat. Uh -huh. And rightly divide the world. Hey! They don't rightly divide. Yeah. They'll tell you, don't do this, don't do that. What you got to ask yourself and the question is, is this sin or is it not sin? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a man made rule or is it not a man made rule? Yeah. That's yeah. what people say about man made. Yeah. Yeah. Aside yeah. from man made. They don't want you to do this. Don't not be personally. No, it's too high. You were right. close. I keep bumping you. I love you, baby. Uh huh. Stay with me. And you will see. Why are you so good? Well, I, I, I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> Alright y'all, um, they're taking pictures. Man Lincoln about to go get some candy. What yeah. you do, little man? I'm gonna get, uh, candy. Uh, I want some water bottle with rainbows on there with the kids get. He want lollipops with rainbows with what the kids get. Yeah, it, trying to find it. It's the party. Some candy, little man. I got a lollipop with rainbows. I know, we get a lollipop, that's what I said. Okay y'all, we'll call y'all that. I'm a nice hit man for so cold Young niggas done lost they soul He just bought him a new Draco And he just waiting to let it go Got some Glock with extensions AR with the titties Teacher say he won't listen Okay y'all, Pop Pop cussed me out Cause I forgot the vlog Yeah. yeah. So we here now Alright, we here we eat. I had some guacamole And they had some queso My mama tried guacamole for the first time What you think, Steph? I love it what you think, Don? 
you know? I said to myself today, that's how I'm gonna walk outside. And I'm gonna be myself. And I said, I'm gonna go outside. And I'm gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I ain't done. He ain't fine. I'm not done with my son yet. Hurry up, cause we got a, we got, this clip's gonna be three minutes. It's a separate. Oh, yeah, the rooms are gone. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Yeah. Look great. One take. Solid take. Hey. Look great in the chat. Looking out the wonder, think the feds out front. Hit the back door. Old school on shunts. It been sitting up. I ain't drove it in a month. This is my son, y'all. Oh, that's all in that chat. <laughs> Tell my flaw. Put your face in it so I can get a lot of money. Money kinda short on time. Play no games when you're talking about mine. Any nigga do, but be talking about What y'all eat, man? Bye bye, bye. What you got? What you got, man? I got a $500 burger. Leave fried for $300. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we make improvisions. Don't do that. Don't do that. Is it improvisation? <laughs> Is it what's the word? What's the word? We improvise. We improvise like we do at home when we ain't got no cup or we don't feel like doing it. You said it's, it's who? Contaminated. I thought she said. I thought she said contaminated. Y'all ain't used to be saying that. It's contaminated. This is the real life. What are you doing? This is the real life. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you no filter. What are you doing? No filter, sweet kid. Laying down here being a menace. We're going for it. Ain't feeling nobody. $955.63. Destiny came and paid all my lights, and my lights are back on. Thank you. I don't have to light candles anymore. Thank you, Destiny. I said that my you light bill was $963.53. Destiny paid all my light bills. I don't have to light candles anymore. Thank God for Destiny. <laughs> Where she got the tape from that? Oh, she paid light bills. What? <laughs> She helped me, mine was $953.63. <laughs> and uh, she came to and paid. I was laying down there. Wait, what was it about? That high, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not that high. <laughs> There's so much love. Oh, my God, my baby. Pick up the kids. Cause it's easy. Cause it's easy.
<laughs> Sorry, vlog. This is what I'm wearing to the club tonight. Um, I already wore this at my friend's 2000s party. I was Aaliyah. And tonight it is a 90s party at Club Love. So I'm going. So yeah, I just have on. Fix your pants. Yeah, I just have on my Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It's long. It come down here. I just tucked it up under my bra in the back. And uh, get on some oversized pants. And then I got on some Tommy Hilfiger underwear. And I also have a red bandana and my Tommy Hilfiger shoes. Actually, I'm going to post a picture of everything I got on right here. Because, you know. But my phone just dinged. I believe that's my ride. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all. We here is it's for no date never care at all because they got a line ed time destiny vlog that's when i remember to vlog oh lord you saw my motorcycle i tried i tried you left my heart as cold as ice and i cried